Okay, now that we've got our stars made, it's time to go on to the next step. In this lesson, we're going to be making a burst charge using black powder and rice hulls. So let me show you a little bit about that. Okay, so this is what we're trying to achieve. It's just black powder coated rice hulls. And this is what the rice hulls look like, and you can buy them in bulk. And we simply wet these, and then we add our black powder mixture to those, growing them just like we do with stars in our cement mixer. And this is just a, called mill powder, it's just black powder that has not been granulated. And will typically add about a 5% dextrin to this. You wet these, you put these in the star roller, which is our cement mixer, and then we'll just start adding the black powder to coat them, just like we're rolling stars, basically. Now, formulas for this you'll see as high as seven parts black powder to one part uh, rice hulls. And that is a little much for me. I don't uh, see a need to do that if we're just bursting shells with it. Sometimes you can use it for lift charge if you have that much black powder on that. However, with this, we're just going to use it for bursts. So we're going to use slightly less than that. And even three or four to one, to one is, uh, I feel like, is enough just for bursting shells. Because we're actually going to add a little primer to it anyways uh, before we seal the shell up. Now, wetting these, sometimes you'll see these where they soak them for 20 minutes and drain the water out and then start coating them. I usually cannot get that to work good because I don't get the uh, I don't get the rice hulls dry enough starting off. So I figure if you've got to wait on them to dry after soaking them, then you might as well just put them in there and, and soak them like we do our cores for starting to roll stars. And that works for me. And that's the method I'm going to be doing. So we're going to put these in dry. We're going to moisten them with our sprayer, just like normal, uh, with stars. And then we're going to start adding our black powder coating until it just looks right, in my opinion. That's, that's the way I do it. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. So we'll go on to our star roller next and uh, put these in. Okay, I don't think I mentioned, but... The amount of rice hulls I'm starting off here is five ounces. And I've also, the amount of black powder that I have is 25 ounces. So I measured everything out for five to one ratio. We'll see how far we get with that. So here again, just like stars, we're gonna dump it in our roller and get it turning, moisten it, start adding black powder. So here we go. We're just going to take a lot of water starting off to get these things coated a little bit. And they will start sticking everywhere when we're starting off and they get wet. So we'll kind of loosen, those, loosen them by hand as we go. And once we get these started, it would be a lot closer to just like the star rolling as far as water and then the powder goes, the amount. Okay, so I've got this wet. It's starting to add a little bit of powder to it. Once it starts getting coated a little bit, I'll try to break everything loose from the sides. It does take a while to get this going right. So I'll keep adding it. And then we will just test it as we go and look at it in our hands and see how much powder it's getting. And Eventually we'll get it dry enough where it'll be more granular and not sticking together so much. But that's the thing if you, uh, 
uh, wet it and get just soppy wet, it's just it's a total mess. And being able to add a little bit of water at a time is, just makes that whole process easier. So let me work with this, keep adding powder to it and uh, so I'll get it coated pretty well and then I'll come back we will go from there. Okay, so just as an update, you can see once it starts getting coated well, it starts acting a little bit more like starch. It's not spread out everywhere in here. It's staying in one little area like this. And so we're going to keep rolling and rolling this. And as it starts drying a little bit, it'll get even a little bit uh, looser than it is now. But we're going to let this go. And I'm going to keep adding powder to it. And, uh, then we'll come back to it. Okay, another check. It's been several more minutes. I've let it go. You can see it's starting to coat really well. And the inside of, it, of our uh, mixer is not nearly as dirty as it was as far as having stuff stuck all in it. So it's starting to really coat well now. I just have a little bit left to put in there. And the moisture content is still good. You can still feel it's really damp. So I haven't added any more water to it since I initially wet it down. And as I add, if it starts really drying and not uh, not growing in size, I will uh, put a little more moisture in there. But for right now, it's doing good. So I'm going to keep working it and put the rest of this in there and then we'll see what we have. Okay, I have all of my powder mixed in here. So currently we are at a ratio of five to one. Five parts black powder, one part rice hulls. You can see how well these are coating. And if you look, there's no dry powder being left behind here. So these are coating extremely well. I have not added any more water. So I got this right from the start, I think. And if need be, I just let it run and dry out more. And if it clumps at all, then you know you need to break those clumps apart. And even in, after the drying process, there may be some stuff to go that you need to just break apart. But, but this has turned out really, really well. And just like all of this stuff, typically the more you do it, the better you get at it. And it just takes a while. Just like a lot of these other things that are a little more complicated, just, just practice makes perfect. So after this, I will dump this out on my screen and I will um, I'm actually drying stuff outside because it's still really nice weather. So I'll let this run a little while longer just to make sure everything's coated well and uh, that'll be it. I'll show it to you uh, uh, after, after I get spread out I'll come back and show you. Okay so here's the powder all spread out on my screen. There's a few pieces that were left behind and didn't get in the bowl to be coated but uh, anyway very nice batch it turned out really well so you can see how nicely coated it looks it's all individual little pieces so this will make some really nice burst okay so that's it uh, stay tuned for the next lesson we'll start prepping our uh, shell halves to get ready to assemble our shells. Thanks for watching.